Welcome back to the dirty, grimy, nasty, muddy ass trenches of World War One. Where today, well, you know, we're gonna be messing with some fucking uh the best weapons mod of all time. You know, if you've seen my videos before, you've seen my channel before, you know that this is by far my favorite weapons mod. It's great. And of course. I can only be referring to the COD Online Weapons mod. It's great. You should try it. It's linked in the description. So, anyways, if you haven't already, subscribe. Uh, why not? You know, takes two seconds. Not even two seconds. Takes less than a second, and uh, I'd appreciate it. And uh, let's get things started, right? With a nuke. <clears throat> I think what I kind of want to do is buy wall weapons. Yeah, I want to buy wall weapons because I want to try to get every weapon in the game. I could do gun game, but, um, you know, well, now we're using M1 Garand. I love the M1 Garand, man. M M ninety three R or Breda ninety three R, basically like the fucking B two three R, right? But it's cooler, just cooler because it's not even it's fucking caught on line weapons. Hopefully, uh, we can get some shit done. All right, let's open this door. Box is uh, not even on this side. That's what we like to see. Uh, what a freaking waste of time and money. Well, the good news, if that exists in twenty twenty four is the fact that we have some points so we can open up some doors and let's see ass staff part we'll take that i don't know if i'll build staffs but uh, whatever okay we got to turn on the generator this m1 garen's not good though it's kind of worries me anything that's a two shot to the head on round three is a no-go for me no rhyme intended, by the way. Getting some shield parts, and we're gonna go for our first boxation molestation hit. We're trading in the M1 Garen. Oh my god, a Raygun Mark II. Look at this shit, I just dug up a fucking AA-12. Oh my goodness. Oh, this thing's badass. Another thing that's really cool about this mod, though, which is, I don't even know how people legally get away with this shit, uh, it uses BO4 weapon sounds. I've actually never even seen this weapon before in this mod. This is supposed to be like the F2000. Mmm. Ah, drinking some nice coffee at 8.30 p.m. Because we have shit to do. Oh, also, if you haven't seen this mod before, check out this death machine. Is this not the most badass death machine you'll ever see? Look at this thing, man. So I kind of hope, I'm pretty sure, have I even, have I done this, have I done this mod on this map before? Have I done this, I don't know, I'm starting to feel like I've done this mod on this map before. I guess if I have, I'm doing it again, and, you know, that's just that. Okay, let's get out of here. Yeah, I don't know, I probably have done this mod on this map before, but... Hey, I, you're gonna have some repeat videos, man. That's just part of it, that's part of being YouTube. Am I dead? Why do I have Deadshot, by the way? I don't ever remember... I don't know, I guess the there's free perk drops in there's something new about this weapon mod every time I fucking play it, I swear. Okay, so let's buy Thug, and I'm hoping there's no perk limit, right? Yeah, let's really hope and pray there's no perk limit. That would be really, really yay. Okay, let's turn on this gin. 
I should use my shotgun for the save ammo, man. Okay, we're about to find out. Well, actually, no, we're not because this is my fourth perk. Am I dead? Oh, shit, I forgot about panzers. Yeah, you're easy, though. Well, I, you would be easy. Are you fucking kidding me? You know what? Oh my gosh. My key, I got it. I'm using a new keyboard and all my keybinds don't fucking work. Yeah, I'm gonna not, I'm not gonna lie to you. That down really kind of irritated me because I shot that dude's laser, man. Everybody knows I shot that laser. I think while we're here, we'll go for a box hit. What are we gonna get though? G37H, this gun looks cool as shit. But yeah, my keybinds are messed up on this new keyboard, so I gotta figure something out. Also, I'm playing as General Shepard, man. Let's go. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Playing as General Shepard and zombies, man. Everybody's always wanted to do that, right? Nah, but for real, no. Honestly, General Shepard's a little bitch. Oh, look at that. That's a free perk, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Widows. I wouldn't mind having double tap at some point in this video. But, we'll just have to see how things go. I don't know if I'll ever even be able to get fucking double tap because I'm a bad zombies player. Also, I was shopping for some souvenirs today, man. In Japan, because I'm going home. Man, I'm going the fuck home soon. And, uh, I found this, like, vape. Just like, I, like it was like a point of purchase. Like at a point of purchase display. I was checking out and I looked to my light. Oh my. <laughs> As I was saying. I'm checking out. <clears throat> and uh, I look to my left and I see this like little stick. It looks like candy. And I'm like, oh, what is that? And it's called 18 bar. Right. Well, it turns out it's a fucking vape. It's like a zero nicotine, zero calorie, zero tar, zero everything. Uh, sui joki vape. And uh, that shit's nice, man. That's not. And you, here's the thing. You don't even have to be like 18 or older to buy it. Like, it's like, I don't know how to explain it. It says keep out of reach of children. But like, can anybody just go up and fucking buy this thing? Like, it is like. Like I said, sui joki, it's water vapor. So, hey, I'm here for it. But, like, it, it's so goddamn good. Like, I'm actually convinced that it's candy for kids. I'm serious. Like, here, I'm going to put a picture of what it looks like right here. Now, we're hoping I didn't forget about that. I probably forgot about that, but... If I didn't, that's what it looks like. Look it up. I don't think you can get it in America, but if you want one, let me know. I'll just send one to you. Probably not, actually. Probably the fuck not. But, like, it's so nice, man. It, like, usually my throat is full of phlegm and uh, nuclear bomb. And, um, dude, sucking on this thing, it cleared my throat. Like, it's medicine almost, man. It's crazy. So I just bought, like, four of them on Amazon, because why not? And I shouldn't be here. I should. Nice nuclear bomb. I really want to open an Amazon storefront uh, for Japanese uh, shit. Like just any Japanese goods to sell. Like on. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm dead. I'm not dead though. Widow's one. But um, I wanted to open an uh, Amazon storefront to sell Japanese stuff on a uh, on American Amazon. I just gotta figure out like how to do it, Sh shipping and Amazon warehousing and you know maybe a third party logistics person. Yeah, there's a lot of. Co Why am I stuck? Okay. There's a lot of complications to this stuff, people. But if anybody wants to help me out with that, send me, like, some kind of email. 
I'm really looking for some business partners. But the good thing about having like a, you know, a community on YouTube, granted a small one, is there's people that you can talk to about shit. Maybe some people know more than I do, even though I'm like almost finished with my MBA, but that's beside the point. We don't learn about Amazon when in grad school, all right? So here we, we have a first upgraded gun, by the way. Um, looks pretty cool. These guns sound bad at, listen to this. Get off me, son. Yeah, these guns sound great. Okay, we actually, oh, what a dumbass. Why'd you hit me? So we should probably do, I don't even know what we should do right now. Um, hmm. Let's open up down here, though we don't need to open up down here because I'm not building any staffs. Why? Whoa, whoa, chill right the fuck on out. I am dead if I've ever fucking seen it. Well, I gotta go down here now because I don't know how I'm supposed to get out of this. We just have to use the gay gay 12. Zombie blood was probably the best thing I could have had in this situation. But yeah, like I said, man, I really want to sell some like, since I'm in Japan, I want to take advantage of that and try to make money off of it. So like, if you would buy like Japanese stuff, like, let me know because that's something I want to do. I want to, it's going to, the shipping is a really hard thing to figure out, but if I can figure out shipping, like, you know, Amazon warehousing and Amazon fulfillment and 3PLs, third-party logistics, you know, and then the licensing and tax requirements, that gets a little, listen guys, tax, taxes get really complicated when you live in a different country, but there are loopholes, okay, and if, like, there are some loopholes, and I'm not doing anything illegal, but almost. I want to upgrade the AA-12, and, um, yeah, I, I need to upgrade this AA-12. I might try to get mule dick. Hopefully, there's no perk limit, though, right? Let's open this door, because I forgot that they took down one of my generators. Which is terrible, man. Get on my way. So we're on round 13, and we're really just chilling at this point, man. Like, I'm relaxed. You're relaxed. I don't know, man. I might even... I might go the distance on this video. Whatever that fucking means. So an update on my zombies game that I'm making. I haven't even really... I haven't decided what I wanted to call it yet. I, I'm not like the title of the fucking game. More like the title of, like... What, what should I call the project? Leave a comment. What should I call my new zombies game? I'm, I'm looking for some ideas. Well, the good news is... We can have more than four perks. The bad news is, is I got electric cherry, so... And the good news is we got double tap. And the fuck you! Also, if you... Listen, like, solo deving a game is really really hard minus the voice crack so if you have any and i mean any experience or you want to experience or you want to help build a game in unreal engine 5 let me know because i am serious like i will like this could be a community project man it really could So yeah, like if you if you want to like work in Unreal Engine 5 and help make a game, let me know, man. I'll figure out how we can do this. Like I I can't promise you like any money or anything. Like it would just have to be like cuz you want to do it. I can't pay a goddamn thing. I can barely pay bills. Nah, I just kidding. I'm, I'm actually sitting pretty good. I'm I'm tight. But that being said, like I can't like promise that I can pay anybody for helping me with the game. It's completely volunteer work ladies and gentlemen but if somebody had like seriously like if you want to be like hey man i want to help create 
the best new round-based zombies game in Unreal Engine 5, and you want to be a part of the team, hit me up. I'm going to put my email in the description, so, like, literally send me an email if you want to, like, help make a game. I mean, let's be honest, at my current rate that I'm going at, this game won't be done for, like, another seven years. I want you to think about something. Like, in-game, not only do you have to code every single thing that happens in the game, the noise that you hear when I'm running, the snow that you see in the sky, the way my weapon moves when I sprint, these planes flying around, round change music, zombies spawning, it all has to be written in code. So it takes an extremely long time. And that's just for, oh my God, I'm dead. What is going on? What, sp what the fuck are those spawns? Oh my goodness. See, the amount of spawns that you just saw right there are all written in code. And I think that code has a little bit, you know, too much. But I, I will be the first to admit I'm not a game developer at all. I'm literally learning as I'm, like, going along. Yeah, like, not only does every... What the fuck are you guys doing? Not only does every... Everything have to be written in code... But you have to create every map. And within every map, you have to create every 3D asset. And every 3D asset, you have to create the material for every 3D asset. And then you have to set up the coding for that. And then you have to create the sounds for the assets, which is what I'm working on now. For the amount of guns that I want to put in my zombies game, man, you know how long it would take me to... I, I have no experience in Blender, but I'm just going to try. You know how long it would take me to create all the guns that I want to put in my new game? Like, that's insane. And when I sat down and thought about it, you know, creating all the code is one thing, but creating the maps and then creating 3D assets and then creating the sound design. Yikes. It's scary, man. Also, we need a new fucking gun. I, why am I using the same shit? What's this zombie doing over there, man? Whatever. We got mule kick. I don't know how, but uh, actually, yeah, we need to go get another gun. We can't just be using the, we're using the best weapons mod of all time. And I'm sitting here dicking around with one gun the entire game. Let's go. Oh my god, the generator's off. Alright, from now on, we're starting one gun per round. Maybe two guns per round. Because I'm gonna probably going to keep my shot. I didn't want to kill the... Anyways, as I was saying, probably two guns per round. Because I don't want to get rid of my AA-12. Especially after it's upgraded. And we get another shotgun. Sweet. Give me the money. Oh my goodness, look at the spo- What? Where's the panzer at? Oh. Nice timing. It doesn't matter, I'm kind of- Oh! Oh my god. If I can't get unstuck, I don't really think it is gonna matter. Wait, am I going to die because I can't get unstuck? Yikes, that was close. So I keep forgetting that this mod spawns in like every zombie at once. So like, hope you're in a good spot. Yeah, man, it would be so cool to like have an unofficial development team, like a dev team of unexperienced people that don't know what the fuck they're doing chatting, you know, in Google Teams, having meetings about what's next, what are the plans for the future, but I tell you what, man, I do actually have this passion, this dream of creating the ultimate round-based zombies game, after Scare Ritual came out and I saw how bad that game was, like, yeah, that, that motivated me. But I would love some help. Alright, now, I have a hunch for getting teddy bears, and I bet this is going to be a teddy bear. Oh, 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 oh my god. 
Tell me you've been playing zombies for a long time without telling me you've been playing zombies for a long time. I'm looking for the Wonder Fizz. What? Why did I come to the box? I think it's the Wonder Fizz is where the lightning is like coming down, right? Over there? Yeah, I think so. Let me hit my uh, children's vape real quick. Well, it's round 17, and if I wanted to, I could finally build the ass staff. But uh, we're not building staffs, because we're using cool weapons. Does anybody... Oh, there it is. Under no circumstances can we end the round here. I think I have good enough perks to... Uh... What is this gun? AK-17 or whatever. To be frank with you, I don't think I've used this Car-17 yet either. This is an AK. Some kind of fake AK. Is this gun cool or is this gun cool? Look at this gun, man. Absolute beauty. Be 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 it's be oh my god, I can't talk. Beautiful! It's called the Atchison AA-12 Electromagnetic. Pretty simple name. Now, I'm kind of shitting my pants because... You saw how fast these zombies spawn in on this mod. Like, I don't know where I should be, because Origins doesn't give you the best training areas. And I need to get a golden helmet, son. I'm stuck on nothing. Holy shit, this gun gets that shit done, doesn't it? Uh, oh my goodness. Wait, I just realized something. I may have never double-papped a gun with this mod. What does double papping do? The cool thing about zombies all spawning at the same goddamn time is that this round is already almost over. And that is something that I'm going to stay here for. Yeah, we're actually going to double pap this. Because I don't know what it does. Oh, it just gave me dead wire. That's fitting, though, right? Because it's an electromagnetic gun. What the fuck? Look at this gun, man. Jesus Christ. What is this gun? Jesus. What is... This is so fucking cool, man. How was this added into zombies? I really hate that robot coming through here, man. I want to get my golden helmet so I can stop worrying about that. I wouldn't mind getting mule kick again, though, either, because, uh... I really want to keep this gay gay 12. It's so good, man. I don't want to get rid of this, either. Like, look at this thing, man. Absolutely cannot end around here. That's a dead shot. I think there's only... I think... Mule kick is the last perk anyways. Let's get it. No, it's a... Oh my god, you could have just given me mule kick, man. Alright, we should be able to grab mule kick with our next wonder jizz hit. I'm probably going to get rid of this cool gun, but it will probably be a thumbnail. Ah, oh, I forgot about stamina, man. A UMG. I'll upgrade this probably haven't before. I just killed him with electric cherry? Are you serious? Mini Uzi, I don't want to upgrade this. The Thompson, that upgraded is actually really fucking cool. Okay, we just have to take whatever we have because uh, I'm not in a great spot. Fire cell's pretty cool, but I don't think I'm going to have time to mess around with a fire so i don't have monkeys either that's not good can i make it to this far so well making it doesn't really matter that much because uh i i, I can't do anything with it i'm dead now because i Whoa! i'm scared now son that was bad it was a dumb move by me. I shouldn't be using a Thompson. It barely kills. But, you know, we're already almost done with this round. It's kind of what happens when they spawn in every zombie at once. 
Get off me. Actually, I didn't really want to hit the bot. Actually, I did want to hit the bot. You know what? I'm going to upgrade the M1 Garand. Why not? No one's going to stop me. I actually only have points to upgrade. Somehow, I only have points to upgrade one gun. What? Where'd my points go? Not to mention the fact that I'm almost out of ammo in my gay gay 12. But M1 Garand it is. And we get the MX Garand. How nice. And it's a one shot. Sweet. Oh, uh, we got... Oh, uh, it's not a one shot. I don't know what I was... That zombie was injured then. I'm not gonna... It might still be good though. Let, let's try it. I, it's not, it's all right. It's not really going to get me out of trouble though, is it? It would be so cool if this gun was full of, oh my god. Oh. That death machine looks sexy right now. I'm going to risk my life to get it. Oh, these rounds are getting harder, not getting any easier. Oh, we have, get out of my way. I killed all the zombies, no. Oh, monkey bombs, huge. A vector, I'll take a vector, uh, why not? Well, let's throw some monkeys though, we need to get, oh no. This is not good. This might be the end of me. That wasn't the best monkey. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is bad. Yeah, I'm out of ammo. My shotgun. We just gotta kill these guys. That'll repair itself. We are officially in a bad, bad position. What do you expect? Oh, I got all my monkeys back. That's huge. Well, I got my monkeys back, but the Panzer didn't want to fucking... I forgot there was a Panzer. Anyways, that was a good video. I hope you enjoyed as much as I did. You didn't. And, uh, see ya.